In this example, we need to graph 5x plus 3y equals 12 using the slope and the y-intercept. Well, remember the slope-intercept form of a line, here it is, is y equals mx plus b, where m, the coefficient of the x term, is the slope, and the y-intercept is the ordered pair, the x-coordinate is always 0, and the y-coordinate comes from here in the equation. So if I look at my equation given, is it in slope-intercept form? No. So the first thing we're going to have to do is rewrite our equation in slope-intercept form. So there is my equation, 5x plus 3y equals 12. To get it into slope-intercept form, I need y all by itself. So I'm going to have to subtract 5x from both sides. And I get 3y equals negative 5x plus 12. These are both unlike terms. I can't combine them. And we want to write the x term first so I can get it into slope-intercept form. Now to get y by itself, I have to divide both sides by 3. And it makes it a lot easier on the right if you divide each term individually by 3. And then what do I get? I get y equals negative 5 thirds x plus 12 divided by 3 is 4. So now my equation is in slope-intercept form. So m, the slope, is the coefficient of the x term. So in this case, m is negative 5 thirds. And the y-intercept is the ordered pair 0, comma, b. And what is b in our case? b is positive 4. So my y-intercept is 0, 4. So the first thing we do in graphing is graph the y-intercept. Start at the origin. The y-intercept is 0, 4. That means x is 0. Go nowhere in the x direction. y is 4. Go up 4 units. So there is my y-intercept. Now we're going to use the slope to find more points. If the slope is ever a negative fraction, put the negative in the numerator. So I'm going to write this as negative 5 divided by 3. And that is going to equal my rise divided by the run. So in this case, the rise is negative 5. That means I'm going to go down 5. And I'm going to run positive 3. So I'm going to run from left to right. We always like the sign to go with the rise. If the rise is positive, we go up. If the rise is negative, we go down. So I'm going to start at my y-intercept, and then I'm just going to go down 5 and to the right 3. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then right 1, 2, 3. There's my next point. Go down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and to the right 3, 1, 2, 3. Now, if I wanted some points to the left of the y-axis, I reverse both of these. So I'm going to go up 5 and to the left 3. So I'm going to go from my y-intercept up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then left 3, 1, 2, so now I have enough points there to graph my line. So let me try and graph the line. And going through my points, that looks about right. Don't forget you put arrows on both ends. Let's double check. Our slope is negative and our graph went down from left to right. Is that correct for a negative slope? Yes. 
So we have graphed 5x plus 3y equals 12 using the slope and the y-intercept.